Last Tuesday, November 28th, from the Southern, uh, Seoul, Southern, uh, Southern Seoul uh, Court, uh, they have given the decisions for the recent injunctions that the breakaway side had filed against the church. On June 20th, the breakaway side um, filed the injunction against the, um, the legislative team of a church, and also they filed an injunction against the uh, protected entry to church. Uh, for these two injunctions, for the first one, an injunction against the legislation committee members of our church, um, because the five people are relevant to their injunction. Out of that five, we are going to choose three people um, today during the provisional session today. And so we will take procedures um, and a proper order to take care of this, so you do not need to worry much about this injunction. Now, for the second injunction is against our church, saying that we have closed church gate. Um, 766 people actually filed the lawsuit against the church. 39 of them, um, um, they uh, canceled their a lawsuit, and so we have 727 people left. And there, are, of the 727 people, 146 people um, were under the disciplinary actions by our church because they had attended the Breakaway Side seminar during the summer conference. The court has decided that we need to let them in. So how are we going to cope with this? I know that a lot of our saints are quite concerned and even oppose um, church's decision to open the gate. Um, we must, however, respect a church, uh, the court's decision. That is our church stance. That's our position. Uh, we have actually posted an official um, statement of church's position. Uh, this is the church position on the result of the injunction against a protected church entry. Number one, uh, 727, 727 people who filed the injunction against the church will be allowed to church premise and participate in worship, but they're allowed to enter the church after undergoing an identity uh, verification process at the main gate. The reason we do this is because we want to make sure that no third party will come in. For example, um, uh, hired men or who try to seize a church by force. We are trying to make sure there's no danger uh, by this. Secondly, among the 286 people subject to disciplinary actions specifically mentioned by the court, um, those who have received a separate disciplinary action due to the Atham riot incident on July 30th. Um, so these people with um, a other disciplinary actions will not be able to enter until that problem is completely resolved. Third, all believers entering the church during public worship must fill out a membership pledge stating that they will not engage in illegal activities within the church and will obey the order of the church. And uh, every person who comes to church have to sign this, including all the saints um, on a church side. And as we are obeying the court order, after people come in and they were to throw a, a great confusion or chaos, then we have to be able to set order. Um, so 
we want to make sure that those things will not take place, minimize damage if that should occur. And that is why we ask for you to sign membership pledge. From now on, only those who actually um, fill, uh, fill out this membership pledge will be able to enter church premise for both the breakaway side and to church side. Um, and for this reason, uh, the Thursday worship service we will continue to do online. Um, and we are supposed to have a guest. Uh, there are many academies of history of redemption um, around Korea, and uh, there are seven academies, and the five academies. Um, are actually run by pastors outside our church. And um, because of our church um, problem right now, these um, pastors outside our church are watching us. They know that Pyongyangjie Church is right so far. Um, they say that the word that's proclaimed by Pyongyang Church should not be confined by Pyongyang Church, but should be spread out to all the people around the world. And we want to make sure that um, no uh, incidences that's taking place should hinder the spreading of the word of redemptive history. So these pastors have actually um, wrote a pledge, and um, they. Uh, and um, they also uh, they also have wrote a letter about their position for uh, or against uh, Pastor Philip Lee. But unfortunately, we will not be able to uh, have an open worship next Thursday. I will receive these pledges and um, letters from our pastors and deliver them to you during the worship service. Please um, I know that there is not a great concern right now and because um, we are doing our best to uh, protect our church. Uh, we would like to ask you to uh, we'll ask for your complete in encouragement and um, participation. Also, I would like to share a, uh, a short announcement concerning a, a mission trip in, uh, to Japan for the funeral services for Reverend Horiuchi. And our church was invited to attend. And so through this uh, relationship that had been established from long ago, uh, established between Reverend Horiuchi and our uh, founding pastor, Reverend Aaron Park, uh, Grace Mission Center is actually a big entity and Christian community in Japan. And um, underneath that is a great foundation, which is a relationship um, between Reverend Horiuchi and Reverend Evan Park. So um, as representative of our church, um, Reverend E.J. Hun, Reverend Che Hee's Hun, and Evangelist Ch Jasmine all went to Japan for this. So um, at this time, Reverend Che Hee's Hun will come forward and give us a short report. Reverend Horiuchi was, uh, went to heaven three years ago. But due to COVID, um, they were not able to do the proper barrier service. And recently, um, um, they because of the COVID got better, they were able to invite uh, many guests from America and Korea. And uh, 1960s, um, Reverend Horiuchi actually um, came to meet Reverend Abraham Park. And 
And um, he actually came to visit Reverend Mapar because he heard that there's someone very like him um, in Korea. So they spent a night together at um, Reverend Reverend Park's house. And Reverend Park came out and said, give me your laundry. And he said, no, I cannot give you my laundry. And Reverend Reverend Park says, then get out of my house because I thought you were my family member. We are all family in Christ. This was a very uh, shocking statement to Reverend Horiuchi, and from that moment, Reverend Horiuchi was so inspired and touched and decided to um, keep Reverend Reverend Park as his big brother. So whenever Reverend Horiuchi came to Korea, uh, Reverend Reverend Park cared for him and treated him with the biggest hospitality there may be. And so he was inspired by this, and he um, uh, shared the same um, reception to his people back in Japan. And because of this hearty and cordial reception, was so inspiring that Reverend Horiuchi always mentioned Reverend Evan Park. Not only his warm reception, but also his firm uh, ministry and how uh, Reverend Evan Park planted uh, 300 branch churches in Korea and around the world. Um, and he really tried to implement it the same way in Japan. So now there are about 20 branch churches in Japan. Saying that there are 20 branch churches in Japan, that will be equivalent to 200 churches in Korea. That's really a, a amazing accomplishment. And also, um, he used his funeral was the very first funeral that used expression home going service in Japan. And Reverend Horiuchi also prepared how his burial would be before his death. And a lot of people also asked. Um, he said, when I die, um, you do the presiding. Um, um, and you do this part, you do that part. And this is very um, reflecting of how Reverend Evan Park would do um, before any event. And during the funeral service, um, um, uh, Mrs. Reverend Horiuchi uh, came forward and um, spoke. She was very worried about what's going to happen to church after his passing. But Reverend Horiuchi says, don't worry. My partner pastors will do their job. And, and the 20 pastors came forward. Um, who are the disciples of Reverend Horiuchi. And um, uh, Mrs. Horiuchi actually introduced every one of them with a great pride. In Japan, the J J church is very small in number. There is a very small number of congregation. But the disciples of the um, Reverend Horiuchi, I have realized that they are without any uh, greed or they are very um, godly people. For example, um, the senior pastor of the Reverend Horiuchi's church um, looked like a, um, a next-door neighbor, uncle, right? So uh, when I was returning to Korea, I was able to introspect and um, realize that we must be very pure in our ministry as well, become really pure pastors. And so the um, Mrs. Um, Horiuchi uh, told, what was told by Reverend Horiuchi that don't worry because my partner pastors will do their job very really well. That really um, echoed in my heart uh, because I believe that we are the same. We, the pastors, evangelists, elders, and eldresses, and all the saints of Pyongyang Church, we are the fellow workers of Reverend Evan Park. And I pray that we will really inherit the philosophy and the faith and the teaching of Reverend Evan Park as pure as we can be in our faith. Um, I hope that we can really emulate uh, his love for his country, for his people, for the word, 
so that we will always be um, joyful to meet one another and we'll always miss uh, spending time together so that we can all together fulfill the very desire of our founder, Reverend Evren Park. Thank you.